All right. Super exciting stuff going on. I have the OBD2 cable. I made sure to get the, I guess it's the Vagcom, or at least a Vagcom knockoff, which was more expensive, but more reliable. And it's when I say expensive, it's not expensive, expensive. For tinkering with your car and the ECU, it's cheap. Super cheap. Some of these tools go for like $2,500. I paid 1% of that for that cable. Uh, but the adapter that goes to the big BMW adapter, BMW uh, socket. And I bought the software, the Siemens MS41 flash tool from Chipster. And I've already downloaded the 24 kilobyte uh, memory area of the ECU. That's just where all the settings are. And I'm now downloading the full 256 kilobyte, which is the full chip front to end. Uh, and I'll make a backup of both of those. So in the event that the unthinkable happens and I do screw something up, I will. You, notwithstanding completely bricking the EEPROM, which is the the memory hard drive, and what would it be? It's where all the firmware sits on the ECU. Uh, notwithstanding completely bricking that, which theoretically I can recover from, I will have a good backup to flash back onto the ECU. You can see, looks like we're getting into some interesting stuff. Over to the left is the memory address that's equivalent to pages in a book or lines. And then you have the data in the middle. And then you have the translation of the data into ASCII. You've got hex in the left, well, middle, which is the actual raw value. And then you have ASCII to the right, which is... Let's see if we can see some actual words. Even if we could see words, it wouldn't be in English anyway. It would be German. No! All right, I think that cut out when I was recording it, but anyhow, very exciting stuff. Uh, I did not expect this to be plug and play. I thought I was going to have to fiddle with it. I thought I was going to have to fight with it, but no, I... <laughs> I plug the adapter into my computer. Actually, my work computer. This isn't even my computer. But, shh, yeah, don't tell. <laughs> I would say don't tell the IT manager that, but hey, that's me. All right, so I plug the adapter into the computer. I plug the adapter into the adapter. And I plug the adapter to adapter into the BMW 20, 20 pin, 24 pin, whatever it is, port. And it works. I ran the software. I went to dump the ECU, and it's working. I'm downloading, I'm, I'm literally downloading a car right now. All right. As you can tell by the distinct change in luminosity, today is tonight. I took the ECU image, ran it through a couple of programs, well, a program, after a lot of research. And so the one that I needed was the 24 kilobit, kilobyte image. That's 24,000 hex values, which is 192,000 binary bits, 192,000 ones or zeros. Out of that, I had to change one bit. I had to flip one bit from one to zero. So, no, from zero to one. Anyhow. We are going to go inside, which we can't see because it's dark. Okay. Ah, why do we have... No! Ah. Okay. Go away, windshield wipers. Nobody loves you. Da -ha. Just for good measure. Go ahead and turn the headlights on, which, you know, 
don't exist, but whatever. All right. So we're coming around. Let's go. Partial. Flash. <gasps> Open. go oh this is this is scary so it just erased my entire ECU and we are pushing new pushing new bits and bytes I'm not supposed to make that noise. All right. No. Weird. Okay. That's for 10 seconds. Uh, not really getting any lights. That's kind of concerning. Okay, so yeah, flash the ECU and no worky. Okay, back with me? Cool. So if this means what I think it means, and I think it means what I think it means, I disabled the EWS, which means that even if this chip in this key were to go completely missing, I could still start the car. I should have tried it without the chip, but without the tune. If I really wanted to, I could flash the ECU back to stock, but I'm not gonna. It was nerve wracking. I took a year off of my life waiting for that thing. But anyhow, so I think we get to do some good old fashioned electrical diagnosis to figure out why. Why is this car not turning on? I don't know. Do you know? If you know, it's useless to me because these videos won't go public for another year. That's right. It's the Skunk Works, the Firestorm Skunk Works. Everything here is tippy top secret. Yeah. Just an old man mumbling to himself now. Alone, outside. Anyhow, so what we're going to do sometime down the road when I have more time than I do tonight is actually get into the thick of her, hopefully with a camera and a tripod, but get into the thick of her and see, get some proper electrical diagnoses running. Yeah. 